Hey guys and welcome back to this month's free assets on the Unreal Marketplace. So for April 2021 we've once again got five amazing different assets. So we've got the farm animal sounds, low poly cats, the German shepherd male, animated pond fish and a modular house. So four out of five of these are all based on animals and the fifth one is just a house which you could maybe use to make a house in a farm for all the animals. So I think this is perfect, again it's perfect timing for me as I'm making an animal AI series right now as well. But without further ado, let's get right into it. So the first one I'm going to start off with is the farm animal sounds. So let me open up that folder here, we've got farm animal sounds, animals, and we've also got bonus here. So it's not much for me to visually show you as these are all just audio. But as you can see we've got bird, cat, chicken, cow, dog, donkey, duck, frogs, goats, goose, gooseling, horse, owl, peacock, pig, sheep, swan, and turkey. So there's lots of different animals which they put in here and they've also added a bonus folder which is also for the forest sound effects, grains, rain and then also steam. So I'll give you a preview of what some of these sound like. So let's listen to the forest loop. So as you can hear, sounds quite nice. It's a forest. Let's also have rain. Again, that also sounds quite nice. I can imagine you mixing it in with the forest to getting a nice peaceful scene. Let's go for some of the animals now. Oh, also, I should mention that these are both the sound waves and the cues already as well. Like I say, let's look at some animals. So let's have a look at a donkey. Got on the cue. So we've got the different sound effects of the donkey. And in each different animal, there are many, many different sound effects. So you can get it perfect for what you want. So there's a chicken as well. Again, they all have many different effects in each animal that you can really customize it to get many different effects for different animals in your game. So I think this is great as there is 410 original high quality animal sounds. So that's 410 audio waves and 410 audio cues. They also do loop as well, so there are some loops in here. And in total it's 15 minutes worth of audio has been provided. So let's have a look at the dog and we'll move on. So we've got the dog here as well. And as you see, there are many different ones for the dog. Mixed in with the other free assets of a dog, I think this could make for a really good AI companion. So let's now take a look at the low poly cats. So you can see here we have different cat meshes at the front here and we've got loads of animations at the back. So let me get a closer look at these here. So in this we have these different meshes here of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 different cat meshes. And as you can see we then also have 80 different animations as well in the back. And those animations are both in place and root motion depending on which one you'd want to use for your cat. So each model has 2,500 to 3,500 tries and 36 bones with a texture map of only one albedo 1k. The different animations you have are regression, attack, idle, sit, lie, hit on the front, back and middle. We've got different death ones, eating, drinking, lying, sleeping, falling, crouch, walk, jumping. So many different animations which you'd want to have for your cat AI in your game. And it also sounds like on their marketplace page, it sounds like they've got great customer service. If you have any questions about any of these animations or models, you just send them a quick message and then they should get back to you on how to use them properly or anything along those lines, or if you want to change something or if something doesn't work properly how you'd want. So again, we have all these different animations here. I assume these ones are swimming and it's just great, especially if you want to make simple cats for a low poly game, this is perfect for you as you already have the models and animations in there. Again, 15 cat breeds and 80 animations. You can use them on both PC and mobile. So once again with my animal AI, you can really make a nice cat animal in your game. You can either just stroll about or do anything else that you'd want. So again, we have all of these different great animations. So it is rigged, it's not the epic skeleton, obviously. They are animated, there's 135 animations, both, like I say, both in place and root motion. 15 different characters. There's only one material instance, but three different textures. And again, it works on both Windows, Mac, and mobile. So without further ado, I think that's going to be a good overview for this one here. Great little pack just for a nice low poly cat that you might want to have in your game with different animations on like so already done for you. Next up we've got a male German Shepherd model and again this looks amazing. So this is the model here, no animations on this one just yet, I'll get to that in a second. But as you can see the model is very high quality and it looks great for any game that you'd want to use it in. Except obviously low poly but obviously this does look great either way. And it is rigged and animated. There's one character and the texture resolution is 4K. There's also 96 different animations here, both of which again being root motion and in place. Let me hit play here. As you see, we now have all these different animations playing here. So sorry, I forgot to press play. But as you see, we have all the different animations that we'd want here. 
So we've got walking, running, walking, running, left, right. We've got lying down, sleeping, sitting, idle, jumping, attacking. We've got sneaking over here as well, so prowling around. If you want it to be hunting, maybe. Again, here's attacking ones. We've got death ones as well, and dead, and then sleeping, being hurt, sniffing around. Anything that you'd really want a dog to be able to do in your game. And again, here we have the running while looking left or right, going down, lying down, sleeping, sitting, walking. Again, all of these great different animations, which again are using 4K textures made in Maya and 3DS Max animation rigs. They've also got a ragdoll setup as well. All the animations are rendered at 60 FPS. And again, this is for a male German Shepherd model. So once again, you can make a really great dog companion AI in your game with all these different animations that you'd want. And again, for free, this is definitely a snatch to get. This is full of amazing different models and animations. Which again, like you've got the running here. And like I say again, they've gone into detail with each different animation. So instead of just running, they've got running forwards, left, right, running faster. So they've got normal running here and then sprinting over there. They've got jumping, attacking while jumping, normal attack. All of these, once again, like I said earlier, are both root motion and in place. So you can choose whichever one that you'd want to have. And we've got these idle ones here. So you've got a normal idle for lying, idle with the dog looking around, idle with the head going down, sitting, perfect for what you want. So sorry if I'm repeating myself here. Again, it's just all of them are these animations. There's not really much else to say on it, but I want to try and get the information across to you as much as possible. And next up, we've got the animated pond fish, or the animated fish pond, if you'd rather. In this, it has five different fishes, one water, one pond, one bridge, three rocks, one stone, one statue, two grass and three water lily. So here you've also got the water lily on the water. Here's the bridge. You can see you have the different rocks, stones and grass here. And then obviously the pond in the middle and there's the statue as well. And in the pond you can see we have all the different fish just swimming around looking great. So it really does just bring this pond to life a little bit more, makes it look quite nice. So they're made to simulate a pond in your video game and they're made with a cartoon style but they've also said that if you have your own fish model rigged and animated you can use them too in this to make it look even better or more to your style if you wanted. So there's 15 different meshes in here, they have got collision but it's automatically generated, 12 different materials, 17 variations and 12 textures. Again this is all low poly cartoon style made to look great for your games. So here we have the different fish more close up as well which again looks perfect. Just if you have a nice little pond in your area, in your game, you can just bring it to life a little bit more by adding these fish in here, or the grass and the rocks and the statue, the bridge, anything along these lines, and it looks great. So again, as you can see, they are already moving as well. I haven't done anything to do that. That's just what it comes with in this pack. It's already created for you. So you can just place it in and have it working perfectly like so. And again, although it's a little poly, there is quite a bit of detail on these fish as well, which makes them look even better. They also want to get across that this wasn't made to look realistic, this was made with the cartoon low poly style in mind, so just make sure you bear that in mind as well, it's not supposed to be realistic looking. Once again there's not that much else to say, other than we have this nice pond here with the different fish, lily pads, bridge, rocks, grass and stone models in here, all fully animated and modelled as well, with different textures and materials all to just bring your game more to life and make it look a bit more realistic for you. Obviously the graphics aren't realistic, but having fish swimming around in a pond is more realistic. So again, a great little addition to add onto your game, all for free. And so next up, we've got the modular house pack for Unreal. As you can see, this has got many different assets which you can use to build your own house. So although everyone's gonna get the same assets, you can customize it to get the house looking completely different for you. And again, you can see that there's different houses, trees, and roads, paths, bushes, all this great stuff to make your own little town and house different from everybody else's for your own game. This includes modular exterior and interior, it's got over 200 models, fully customizable materials, demo scenes with baked and dynamic lighting scenarios like the one I'm currently in now, it's got roads, stairs and fence blueprints, new and aged look using vertex paint so again you can customize that to get it perfect for what you want as well, 19 pre-built houses which I'm looking at right here, we've got glass and window destruction, openable garage, houses, doors and windows, and it's also got LOD and light map UVs as well. So let's take a closer look at these houses here and I'll get onto the other meshes as well. So again, if you wanted to just make a town, you can just drag and drop these houses in here just to get a nice quick town in here. So this might work great for a horror game. I can imagine maybe walking down one of the roads you get in this game with all these houses on the side for a horror game and then you can make your own one with modeled interior as well. 
if I go inside and change it to unlit so we can actually see, you can see this is actually modeled inside as well. There's obviously nothing in here, but all of these do have the interior modeled. So you've got the wallpaper, the stairs, all of this good stuff as well. So you can customize the inside to get each one perfect for the game that you'd like to as well. If I change this back to lit so it looks a bit better. And now you can see we have all the roofs and different stuff over here too. So the texture sizes go from 39 to 4096. We've got both custom and auto collision. The vertex count is 300 to 2000 tries. It does include LODs, 291 different meshes. We've got 19 master materials in 116 instances and 121 textures. Once again, leaving you to be able to customize this to get it perfect for your game and different to everybody else's. So everyone can have the same asset pack, but everyone's houses will look different because that's the beauty of things being modular is you can really just customize it to build it however you want. So we have the stairs and fences here, garage doors, normal doors, trees, everything that you'd ever want to build a house with. So I think that'll be it for this video and this overview of April 2021's monthly free assets on Unreal Engine Marketplace. So sorry if I was a bit repetitive on this one or I didn't say as much as I have previously. That's because with these packs, there isn't a whole lot more to talk about like there has been previously as it is very simply sound effects, animals and houses. So they are great, I'm not putting them down at all. They are great and they're free. I've already claimed all of them, definitely gonna use them in future projects. Like I say, there isn't much to talk about it. It does what it says on the tin, you know, you get what you expect to get. However, I hope that I have given you at least some helpful insight on it and visual aids for it as well. But like I say, that will be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed them and let me know in the comments down below which one your favorite is and which one you're gonna be using first. And as always as well, there will be links in the description down below to all of these different packs as well. And if you're watching this in the future where it's not April, you can still get them. The links will still be the same. However, they won't be free unless they go on sale again or become free again. But thanks so much for watching. So I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you have a great day as well. And if you did enjoy it, make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.